this C class Muay Thai rules bout takes place in the minus 59 kilogram division and will be contested over three two minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the black corner at yesterday's weigh in, he scaled 59 kilos exactly. Representing Fight Factory in Old Street, London, it's Tyler Hurricane Hogan. And across the ring in the white corner, representing Team Chu Jim in central London, at yesterday's weight, he also scaled 59 kilos. It's Leon Patel! Bat number two of the evening then, Tyler Hogan, black gloves, red and black trunks. Liam Patel, black trunks, white gloves. And a real fan base here. Great reception for him before we get underway. Three two-minute rounds. Both men bang on the money, 59 kilos. This is interesting. I've never seen Liam actually match up against somebody his own height. At 59 kilos, Liam is an absolute runner bean, and he's so tall and long-limbed at the weight. This should be really interesting. Yeah, they've managed to find another one. Oh, nice. Liam Patel looks to get that right foot to work early. Lovely clinch from Liam there. He works around the side, hand across the face, pushes his opponent away. It's really good clinch work, this guy. He long knees you from about six miles away as well with those legs. Just an early attempt at a Superman punch there from Tyler Hogan. Just out of range, lands a nice left to the body, but then gets tagged by the kick on the way out. One thing that scared me a little bit is Tyler's hands are very low and Liam's legs are very long and he kicks high very fast. Well, good head movement early on from Hogan. Yeah, but we're in round one and his uh, gloves are around his waist. They go between his shoulders and his waist. Which is a little bit of a concern for me. It's interesting, they're similar heights. But have a look at the waistbands for both Patel, a lot longer in the legs than Tyler Hogan. Lovely knees there. 90 seconds of the opening round gone. Hogan southpaw there. Liam will switch between both, but he's predominantly an orthodox fighter. So you'd expect to see him circling to his left and using that right kick against the southpaw. Hands a little bit higher there from Tyler Hogan. Patel not able to find a way through with those high kicks in round one. Final few seconds, good work though from Patel. And he ends the round the stronger of the two. Beautiful long knees there from Patel. Starts aggressive in this second round. Look at that. Oof. Barely waited for the bell to go before he went to work, and Tyler Hogan backed up on the ropes. Already taking some punishment. Three steps in to separate the two. Hogan did well there to use his forearms to keep Patel at bay. But those knees were damaging. It's a silent, like a silent assassin. You don't realize how much it takes out of you, but they were really finding the mark there. Nice block from Patel. It's really dangerous with the high feet, doesn't he? Yeah. And we were just saying to each other, weren't we, that Patel seems to be growing in confidence and 
every fight he gets stronger and stronger. Be interesting to see when he goes up to B class when they feel he's ready. Well, it looks very relaxed. And that is often the sign of a confident fighter, isn't it? Not letting the lights or the crowd or the occasion affect you. As Hogan tries to go high himself, not quite in range. Nice shot from Hogan there. Does look Love handy that. with the fists as Patel comes over the top. Looks to put the leather to work himself. Yeah, he's doing some good work there. Look, that's what I want to see from a southpaw. Hogan stepping to, to the right like that. Yeah, nice right hook as well. But Patel does really well to just work while he's looking. Sometimes you see people like looking for things, like Hogan looks like he's looking for the shot, whereas Patel's picking away the whole time while he's doing so. It's a really important thing to do. Patel gets there with the punch first this time. Nice one too as well. Sends Tyler Hogan back. He does seem to know when to get out of range though, Tyler Hogan, until he catches that one. Just the third round before Peter Lowe has even rung the bell. Liam Patel flying out of the gates again. This time Tyler Hogan comes to meet him. Right in front of our commentary position. Lovely work there from Patel, just using the shin across the rib cage. More like a pushing kick and gaining the distance. Nice lean back and counter. Some good skills shown by Patel tonight. I'm impressed with uh, Hogan as well. Very game. Yeah, he goes jumping in again for the second time in the bout. But Patel doing well to work around the side there in the clinch. This time it's Patel that wins the exchange with the gloves. Better work from Hogan there, keeping him against the ropes. Yeah, his corner telling him he needs to work harder. When you get onslaughts like that coming from Patel, how hard can you work? Again, he keeps those hands low, doesn't he? Yeah, scary to watch. <laughs> Final 30 seconds of the bout. The thing with Hogan is when he when he retreats, he retreats back in a straight line every time. He just takes one step straight backwards. So Patel knows where he is all the time. Watch, there's the step back. Every time he just goes straight back. I'd like to see him taking it off at an angle a little bit. Where it'd be harder to read. Final few seconds then, Hogan. Lands that left hook, Patel comes forward again, oh. Lovely and then the work. right hand straight through the middle to yeah. end the bout. Great little matchup there. Two very game fighters, but Patel putting in a good performance for me. I'm impressed. Three excellent rounds of action. And 
in the conclusion of those three rounds. Your win side tells is a win. A unanimous decision going to your winner in the white corner, Liam Patel. And show your appreciation for our excellent runner-up, Tyler Hogan. Congratulations then to Liam Patel, but really hope to see Tyler Hogan back on a Muay Thai Grand Prix card. Two excellent young fighters, but another victory. His quality and his confidence continues to grow. Congratulations, Liam.